Hi and welcome to another video tutorial on the Mighty. This video today concerns the data logging feature, something that's very important uh, to use if you have problems and you want us to troubleshoot them. First of all, the most important thing is to always be connected to the ECU while you're playing with logging. So watch this status bar here, make sure that it's lit green and that it says connected. Next, you need to configure the logging feature and you can do this by clicking the top menu, mark logging, configure. You have three parameters that need to be set. First is what channels you want logged. As you can see, these are all the variables inside the ECU and if if not told otherwise or you actually know exactly what you're doing, please leave them all selected. It's very important that we have access to all the data if a problem appears. Next is the frequency. This says how often per second you want these fields above to be logged. The default is 10 and I always recommend leaving them to 10 simply because that's the actual update frequency of the ECU. So setting it to anything higher won't actually help you. So setting it to anything lower and it means that we might actually miss some data. The last field and probably the most important one is the log folder. Make sure that you select it to a folder to which you actually have right access to. I have mine set to desktop but results might vary. At the end press OK and you're ready to start logging. You do this by pressing the start button in the same logging menu. As soon as the start button is pressed you can see that the logging started status has appeared on the, in, the, in the bottom bar. While you're logging and trying to reproduce the problem, please add markers. In order to add a marker, you either press Ctrl M while the Mighty is logging or you click the menu entry here. Adding a marker helps us narrow, it, narrow the, the, the areas in the log that we are actually interested in and makes for much easier job in, in supporting you guys. So add, 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 add as many markers as, as there are instances of the problem occurring. When you're done doing the log, just press stop and you can see that the status bar changes accordingly. In order for us to be able to support you, or for that matter any member of the community to be able to support you, please provide a calibration. We don't need the calibration that you've loaded on the ECU, but we need the actual calibration and settings that are in your ECU. So with the, with the laptop or PC connected to the ECU, please press the save calibration file menu entry and save the calibration preferably in the same folder as the logs. <coughs> Excuse me. With that done, the next step is to send the package, which means the logs and the calibration to our email address listed here. Enjoy and hopefully you won't have to use this feature too often. Cheers!